Hi everyone, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Saturday Morning Makes. And I am going to also um, hashtag this beige Christmas. Um, I was inspired by a couple cards I saw on Pinterest. And they were Christmas cards, but they were in the colors of beige. And I really uh, took to them. They, they really looked um, amazing and so pretty. So I, I decided... Um, I'm going to make some beige Christmas cards. Um, so this is going to be hashtag set more makes and hashtag beige Christmas. Um, and thank you so much for all joining me and watching my channel. And let's get started. I'm going to share with you um, and hashtag uh, set more makes is with Jill Norwood. If you guys don't already know that um, this has been a collaboration. It's been going on for about three years and Jill started it just to give herself a little bit of uh, crafty time on the weekends. And um, everybody else started joining in. And now we have this huge uh, amount of crafters that are doing Saturday morning makes. And if you don't do videos, you can post a picture over on Instagram and just hashtag it uh, sat more makes on Facebook, Pinterest, wherever you want to post. And if you don't do uh, cards, it doesn't matter. You can do any craft. You can do crochet. You can do painting. You can do uh sewing stamping uh scrapbooking whatever it is what painting whatever you do jewelry um and then just share share it with the hashtag so we can all find you and see your projects all right um so let's get started uh i used these stamps that i just recently purchased from lily of the valley they came out with some new christmas stamps and i love their stamps um so i got this one here and this set is called snow folks and uh, there's a lot of uh, little snowmen um, dressed up in different things. And then we have the little owl. We have a tree. Here's another tree. And this one has like a sack at the bottom. I love that because that reminds me of a primitive tree. And then we have um, some more snowmen. And then there's a little reindeer. So cute. I love this set. And then I also use this set. And this is called Christmas Friends. And... Um, this is a little polar bear. There's Santa. I don't think I used Santa. Uh, I did use the ginger. I used this little rabbit with the Merry Christmas um, balloon. I used the reindeer. I used this snowman. Um, yeah. And so what I did was um, one day I just decided to start coloring um, all my images. And then I put them in here. Um, this is a cute little bowl from um, Michael's uh, that I recently bought to you know keep things on my desk i love the little gingers and the candy canes um so i have a couple still left in here but um i just colored them one day and i put them in the bowl and then i started making cards with them and it's been so much fun and i just have like i said a few images left um that i did not use but um here's another little bowl with the gingers on it this is the round one and these are poinsettias from Erica, Scrap Diva's uh, poinsettia dye that she just came out with. Um, and I sat and made some of these flowers uh, one day. And I also um, put a few of these on my cards. I think I used the pink ones mostly. Um, but yeah, I just uh, made these uh, flowers one day. And I sprinkled them with that uh, glitter spray. And they just sit in here waiting to be put on some cards in my desk. I use this uh, stamp, and this is um, uh, I can't read, but that says it's all it's very smushed together there. All rights reserved is all I can see. Made in USA. Um, yeah, I can't see it, uh, but it's a Christmas sentiment. It says Christmas joy is in the air. May you find it everywhere. And I put that inside uh, a few of my cards. Um, I used some eyelets in the eyelet setter on a few. Um, I also added in some of these uh, dies that I've had in my stash for a while. This is a penny black stitch, wavy stitch die. So I used that on a few of my cards. I used the Lawn Fawn uh, hillside dies, a few of those. I used this stitch scallop circle set, and I don't know where I got that. Um, it looks like a spellbinders because they do their theirs in gold like this. Um, but I'm not 100% positive. I don't know where I got it. Um, and these were Scrap Diva's de uh, designs. Um, 
Christmas words from 2022. So this was last year. And I used the word joy. And on this side, I used, this was, she had set one and two. So this would be set two. And I used the word Christmas on this side. Um, so I used those in some of my, my cards. And I'm just going to push these over here for a minute. And I am going to share my cards. Okay. So remember, it's beige Christmas. So I did this one. And there are a couple of those images from Lily of the Valley. There's one of my poinsettias. I put a little bit of twine in the underneath that. I don't know if you can see that. Here's that circle scallop. I use some uh, vintage snowflake paper here and then the gold glitter paper. And the papers are just um, loose. I had these um, papers in my stash and I pulled out uh, anything that looked like it would be um, for beige Christmas, you know what I mean? I pulled out um, all the papers that I had. I'm sorry. Like, see how the colors are all like beige. And um, so I pulled all these out from in my Christmas paper and they're just random um, papers. I don't know exactly what where they all came from, but they were in a box that I have um, an iris case and it's all Christmas um, paper in there. So I pulled those papers out. Here's that die Christmas from Erica's um, die set. I used a lot of stickles. I don't know if you can see all the glitter, but it's so pretty. And then I did the inside. And then of course I stamped the back. So did that one. And then here's another. And this one is where I used the word joy and I added some pink in with the beige. Really pretty. And then here's the inside and that's where I used that stamp on the inside. And I stamped all of them with my stamp in the back. So there's that one. And here's this one here. And this is using the little bunny with the Merry Christmas balloon. Use the darker paper in the background here. And then I use this really pretty stripe beige paper with the glitter. Have to have glitter on the Christmas cards. Put some enamel dots. And then I use one of my little uh, poinsettias. And here's the inside. That one. And then I did this one here. And this one was using one of the little snowmen and the tree with the little sack. And then I used the lawn fawn stitched hillside to make the bottom. Use some more of that gold. Distress the edges. Um, all of the cards that have distressing were distressed with the vintage photo. And then I did the joy. And then I put, um, this is where I added the eyelet in there and then put the twine through it. So there's an eyelet in there. And um, I, I was inspired by Anna. Anna did a video and she had set the eyelet in this mat, this mat piece here. And then she glued the whole thing on top. And I thought that was a cute, uh, really awesome idea to do. So I got that idea from Anna White. Thank you, Anna. It's very um, inspiring when I saw your video. So here's the inside. And that's that one. And then we did this one here. And this one has one of the little snowmen holding the star. And the star says hope. Little heart on the hat with a little pink pom-pom. So cute. And here's another one of the trees. And this one has like a little pot at the bottom. This is an eyelet set, but this time I used this pink twine that uh, my BFF Gigi sent me in a Happy Mail. So it's the same twine from the same company on Amazon, and I'll show you. Um, this is it here, May Arts, and you find this on Amazon. And this was also inspired from Anna White. She uses this a lot, and um, I went over and got the, the beige and the white, and then um, Gigi sent me the, the pink. So thank you, Gigi. I really appreciate that. I love those twines. They're really nice. So here's this card. 
And then here's the inside. Let's see if I can get them all in here. Probably not. I went crazy, you guys. I did. <laughs> I made all these cards. And here's this one. And this one has the polar bear. And another little tree. And there's the word joy again. An eyelet set there. The Lawn Fawn Hillside dye. The glitter paper. Very pretty. I love this beige. The beige look. When I saw the card on Pinterest, I was like, oh man, I got ideas flowing through my head now. <laughs> so there's the inside. I love the glitter paper too in the background. That was a that was a, a a sheet of glitter paper that I got in one of my lots. I had two sheets of it. It's very pretty, and I don't know. It doesn't have um, a name on it, so I don't. I can't tell you where this paper came from, but I got it in my lots, and I thought it was so pretty and sparkly. It does shed a little bit, not a whole lot, but it cut really nicely for me. So, um, sorry I can't tell you where it's from, but I think it really brought a, a pop to all the cards with the beige and then that gold glitter. They're just really, really pretty um, and shiny. So, and then this one here, you guys, is the last one. And with this card, I put three of the images on. And then this was part of the stamp set here, this little flag that says Happy Christmas. Here's an eyelet set with the twine up here in this corner. And there's where that little gingy was, the little snowman and the little owl. Use the Lawn Fawn Hill dies and more of the glitter. And then here's the inside. And that's what I did this week. And these are my cards for Saturday morning makes slash beige Christmas. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up. It's always appreciated. And I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Happy Saturday. And if I don't see you before then, happy holidays. All right, you guys. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye.